Hey Capricorn, welcome to your weekly love reading. Apologies for the delay. I've just been doing so much personal introspection, releasing, integrating, you know, all of the good stuff over the past week with, you know, the solar eclipse, the great conjunction, everything that's been going on. I mean, yesterday, yesterday's energies were majorly intense for me with the cat, especially with the cancer energy. Um, so I, I haven't felt to do your reading while I was kind of experiencing my own personal things because I didn't want my energy to kind of affect um, anything that I was getting for you. So yeah, apologies for that. Before I get started, I'd just like to say I am giving away five free personal readings. Um, if you would like the chance to win one, all you need to do is subscribe, hit the notification bell and comment subscribed. I'll be announcing the winners on the 27th of December and getting everyone booked in before the 30th of December. Um, this is a general reading and it is timeless. So just take what messages resonate and take it from when you find this reading. Okay, let's get started. Let's see what is going on with you guys in regards to your love life and romance this week. What is going on with your romantic love life this week? Okay, let's see what Okay, guys. Your present energy surrounding your love life. Recent past energy. What is guiding you? The root of your present energy. And your near future energy. Okay. It's so weird because I felt like it could have gone either end with your uh, near future energy, but there was more of a pull this side, but you may find that you've got quite a few options that come up in the in the, uh, near future but we'll see when we get to that anyway bottom of the deck we have the ace of swords again that might with that ace of swords with the two hands on that sword I feel like this is there's something brand new that's coming in there's some communication but I'm getting kind of like uh, be aware of any miscommunication as well you know, like um, you could take things in kind of different ways, in two ways or something. But let's see here. Your present energy surrounding your love life. We have here the King of Swords. Now, this is kind of talking to me more about being logical, um, going with your head over your heart upon a situation here. But I feel like you may be missing something. You need to integrate some sort of emotion also but there is this sort of it looks to me like an olive branch that is being offered under the surface here that is kind of coming up somebody may be offering you an olive branch but you may not see it yet it may be kind of manifesting and you may not be kind of seeing whatever the situation is as a build-up to being offered an olive branch and you may not even see this olive branch with this king with his blindfold on um, there's a rainbow behind him, but he can't see it. And he's kind of hurting himself. He's stabbing himself in the heart. But yeah, there is, you know, there's a few things that are in the works here that are, that are kind of growing um, and manifesting for you guys. But there is this olive branch that I feel. Um, recent past energy. We have here the Ace of Pentacles. So bottom of the deck, Ace of Swords. Here you've got the Ace of Pentacles. There's a lot of new beginnings here brand new experience in your physical world and again I feel like this is um, you're being offered something you're being offered uh, a new beginning that is going to help you gain stability and abundance in your physical reality here you're being you've been offered something that's going to be you know solid and it's going to help you to bring new something new in physically you may have had to kind of let go of something um but you are being offered something new 
Now the root of this King of Swords, we have the star. This is, you know, and this, the car, the car, the car, <laughs> the car, it may involve a car, uh, it may not, but the star is kind of, in this deck, it kind of talks to me about divine intervention as well. It talks to me about things naturally uh, manifesting, natural healing, not forcing anything, just everything's natural and everything's in flow. Um, so it looks to me like you you have been in a situation where, you know, the universe has been really guiding you, you've been going through major healing, you've been really kind of going with the flow and it's and, and it has brought in something new a new experience for you and it may, and and to be honest this experience this physical gift that's been given to you i'm getting as well it can be perceived in two ways you may have had an experience in your love life where you may have left somebody and it was sad you know and this new beginning for you is is kind of sad um but you can look at it that way or you can look at it in a new way in another way where you've been given a gift to have a new beginning so there's a lot here that's kind of talking to me about the way you perceive things and i feel you're trying to be logical with this king of swords you're being logical you're trying to use your head over your heart but you I feel like it talks about you really need to still tune into that heart so you can see this offer of peace that is being brought to you so you don't move forwards with any sort of bitterness or a lack mindset or something for this particular group of Capricorns. Now, what is guiding you is this four of wands. I feel like this is going to be talking about a solid commitment here, a union. This is going to be talking about new foundations for you that are being manifested with this new beginning. You're going to be integrating something that is more solid, that is more committed, that is abundant, that is unified. Um, there's so much creation with this in all aspects. Something beautiful will grow from, from this. Um, Near future energy, we have the Knight of Cups. So, and I feel like that is kind of talking about this olive branch. This olive branch might not necessarily be somebody from the past who comes forward and gives you uh, an offer and asks for, you know, peace or forgiveness, but it might be a new opportunity that comes in from somebody completely different, but they're offering you a connection or an experience, a relationship, uh, um, a romantic situation and and what they're offering is the olive branch they're delivering something that is going to bring peace to you and healing to you and abundance to you do you know what i mean it's going to help heal it's like uh, an olive branch being offered to your heart not necessarily so much focused about who's delivering it i feel like it's more so about an experience for you to help you kind of evolve with your emotions transform your emotions grow more love inside of you heal things inside of you more so than necessarily a person it could be a person that's coming back but with that ace of pentacles it's kind of telling me that there's something newer started in the uh recent past with that four of wands guiding you it might be that you connected with a twin flame and this person is going to be you know, connecting into your heart and you're going to be having, you know, some major emotional, you know, awakening going on, um, but it's going to be healing for you. Now, it's going to be different for, for many different Capricorns, but let's take a closer look. Okay, so what was this Ace of Pentacles in the recent past? A reunion or a celebration, a get-together? It is a get-together. But again, I don't necessarily feel... It may be that you've reunited with somebody that you already know. Let me know in the comments. But I feel like this could also be talking about somebody that you've known over lifetimes. 
life cycles. Do you know what I mean? Because again, with this, this name of pentacles at the bottom, it's kind of talking to me about a new experience, a new opportunity. So it may be that your soul knows this person. It's, a re, it's reuniting with, uh, you know, a familiarity of your soul through a person that you've never kind of met this person in the physical form this lifetime before. Do you know what I mean? So if you're connecting with a twin flame, uh, you, obviously your souls are gonna know each other. This is a reunion. This is like, you, 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 you're, the, you're uniting and celebrating, but with that Ace of Pentacles and this Page of Pentacles, I feel like this may be your first time connecting with their human avatar. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like, it might be like that, but it's gonna, again, it's gonna be different for many people. Um, but for some of you who are connecting with somebody that you already know, you may be a bit distrusting of this person. You may be distrusting of them. So you're choosing to be logical and you're resisting your emotions and you're not seeing that this is an opportunity for you, a major opportunity of healing for you. Um, but there is gonna be emotional abundance that comes in here. So this King of Swords wants to focus upon their pentacles. They are manifesting, but they're trying to control the situation here. And they're trying to control what they manifest because there's a, a there's an element of fear. There's an element of being afraid of um, of emotional of of something emotional here. There's some sort of fear of 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 emotions becoming out of control or be there's a fear of heartbreak here there's a fear of emotional pain so this king of swords is very focused upon what's physical is being logical and focusing upon uh building the physical world and having something abundant in the physical but trying to shut emotions completely out of it so to speak, because he's afraid of the emotion. So he's trying to manifest, or she's trying to manifest in a manipulative, it is a manipulative way, because they're trying to manifest something, but it's they're trying to kind of, you're trying to uh, missteps out kind of deliberately because they make you feel uncomfortable, or you, you, you know, you're trying to make things kind of work for you but in a way that makes you feel comfortable. I don't think emotions are making you feel comfortable with this situation. You do just need to trust that things are just gonna naturally play out with that star. Um, but there is a big focus upon the material. But you know, with any sort of manifestation, emotions are a major key, a key player with them. Because if you, if you manifest something and you haven't addressed the emotional side, it will manifest anyway, whether you feel good or, you know, not good. It's, something's going to manifest. But say you want to manifest a connection, a physical connection with somebody. Yeah, you want something that's abundant. You want, you know, marriage and a house and, you know, kids and you want everything to be great and you want to go on holidays and stuff. And you want this perfect connection. You may be manifesting that, but at the same time, there may not be real happiness in there. It may end up being a bit stressful and, you know, you put the person that you end up with might look good on paper, might look good on the surface. It might look abundant with your physical eyes or, you know, it may, on paper, it may be that this is the perfect person, but there may be something missing emotionally because there has not been the consideration of um, emotions in that manifestation and how you want to feel and how you're going to feel and you know how this how this person's going to reside with you and your beliefs and all you know there's all sorts of things that go into it so I feel like yeah this is um, this is something like I feel like you're trying to manifest a connection but you need to be not so closed off to emotions here. You need to, you know, integrate how you feel about things as much as it, like a logical mindset towards it. This four of wands, this seven of swords. Yeah, don't fool yourself. Don't trick yourself out of something that's really, truly real. 
yeah? That's natural. Don't trick yourself out of having something that is, you know, beautiful and real because you're afraid of your emotions. Don't try and trick yourself out of uh, having a natural, beautiful connection because in actual fact, you may see somebody that kind of fits uh, a logical profile, you know, a bit better. Um, you know, they kind of tick all the boxes on paper. Whereas the natural connection may not tick all the boxes on paper, but there may be more abundance in that. So just be aware that you don't trick yourself in regards to who you choose and who you connect with. In regards to, like, I feel like this is to do talking about marriage and whether it's a physical marriage or it's like an energetic marriage where, you know, you're, you're, um, you are engaging with somebody and having a relationship with somebody. Okay, this Knight of Cups. The lovers. Love is incoming, big time. And again, like, there is some, somebody is coming in that is coming to help you shift yourself out of a lack mindset, which I feel that lack mindset is, it doesn't feel good, which is why you try to shut off your emotions a little bit more um, and try to be logical, to try and protect yourself from from that five of cups energy but this person is coming in and this is like this is i feel like this is somebody incredible but they may trigger you a little bit um and you may be afraid of this person of falling in love with them and be afraid of losing them do you know what i mean there may be something like that so you may actually choose something else instead or a different connection instead but we'll see where is this going to be taking capricorn yeah you're having a brand new beginning this masculine, this masculine, whether this is you, Capricorn, or whether this is the person that you're dealing with, you know, just take these energies as it, um, as they, as they uh, resonate. This masculine energy that's afraid is is getting an education here. There's major intuition, and it's not to be ignored. There's a new beginning. There's somebody new that's coming into your life, guys. It's going to be challenging for you. It's going to trigger you. What do you need to know about this person that's coming in? This is your person. This is your person. This is going to transform your energy. This person is going to awaken you to emotions. Look, this person is majorly going to transform you to emotions. You're going to go from this king of swords to this king of cups you're going to go through an emotional awakening bottom of the deck we've got the queen of cups this person who's coming in is feminine energy whether they're masculine or feminine they're coming in with feminine energy that is going to really attract you to them and you're going to be having an emotional awakening with this person it could be a twin flame but uh i feel like the challenge for you is not to try and shut off your emotions with this, to be logical, you know, to try and just make something happen that kind of looks better on paper, that, you know, seems more sensible or it, it seems like that would be the better choice for you. Because I think if you do that, you're gonna be really uncomfortable. But you probably, that might be part of your journey. You may need to do that anyway. So you've been sacrificing a lot in regards to your love life. You've kind of really sacrificed um, love, true love. You've been sacrificing love for something material. I feel like you've been giving a lot of your focus and your energy to your material world, but you've kind of sacrificed your emotions as well. But there's a new beginning here. There is kind of, a, you're going to be learning about an imbalance in regards to your material world. It could be to do with the connection that you have, that there's something missing. It's not fully balanced. There's something off key. Because um, I'm getting that you guys may be dealing with two people. For some of you, you may have somebody that, you know, you think is more stable and that looks good on paper. And really, if you're going to be logical about it, this is somebody that you probably will want to build with and make things work with because... 
you feel like there is more uh, there's sorry more, guys I just had a call there there's there, there's more to gain with that person in the physical world like you're going to be able to gain more abundance with them physically as opposed to this other person who there is it's, it's this is a divine sort of connection it's a natural connection that you don't really have any control over but they're kind of awakening you to emotions um so I do feel like there's two people here. I feel like you may try to choose the one that is, you know, looks better on paper, but you're not going to be able to fight your feelings for this other person. They're going to grow. It's naturally going to grow. You're not going to be able to control it. Um, but that, that, to me, that feels like it's part of your journey. You know, you need to go through that experience. It's something that you're going to need to kind of go through to be able to understand certain lessons. At the moment, there's nothing really kind of going on for you emotionally. They've not come in yet. <laughs> or the, the feelings haven't kind of been activated yet. You started a new cycle, but I feel like you haven't actually kind of come directly into contact with this person just yet. They're about to come in. It's that olive branch. They're about to come into your life. There's nothing really going on for you emotionally at the moment. It's all in your head. Everything's about your head, how you think about things. You're logical about things. You, you plan things a lot. You plan things out. You're organized and it's very logical. You're very mentally focused upon your love life and your romantic life. It's very kind of... Uh, what's the word? Like clinical in a way. It's very planned, very organized. It's like a business. It's like your love life's a bit like a business at the moment. Um, because you haven't had this emotional awakening, but this is coming in big time for you. It's just not here at this moment that I'm doing this reading. It is incoming very soon, very, very soon. And it's going to completely transform your life. There is, there is a, there's this lack that is going on for you guys in your physical world in regards to your physical relationships at the moment. It's like it's kind of put on the back burner. There isn't any abundance at the moment. Even if you're with somebody and you've been trying to make things happen and make things work with somebody and connecting with somebody, it's kind of... There's a lack of emotions and a lack of fulfillment with this person, but there is this kind of focus upon those pentacles with this person and the growth. There's this desire that you want to make something work with this person. You want to make it work. You want abundance with this person. Your, your mind is set upon that, but there is emotional lack there. You don't gain anything emotionally from them. Or for those who aren't even involved with somebody at the moment, there's just this lack in love. There's this. There's no focus upon your love life. It, it may have been just pure focus upon your finances or career or money or you know something else. But there's not really. There's a. There's a bit of for you personally inside yourself, or for your person. If you're watching this and this sounds more like your person, but I don't think it is because I feel like. Um, I feel like anybody really who I feel like your person, if you're if you're Capricorn's person, you haven't even really truly like this for this particular reading. They've not entered yet, so I feel like this is kind of talking about you, Capricorn. To be perfectly honest, but you know, just take it how it resonates. If it resonates, it resonates. If it doesn't, it doesn't. Um, but there's this kind of lack. There's a lack of love at the moment. There's this kind of. There's just a focus upon the physical and gaining material abundance, but it's hard work. It's exhausting and it, there isn't abundance coming because there is that lack of emotion. There's no, the emo emotions are just out of control here. Um, your emotions haven't been integrated into your manifestations and that's not just with love that is with everything in your life you know when you hear these stories about how people suddenly start to transform their lives and everything gets you know completely um everything changes for them you know like the jim jim carrey he was a perfect example um but i do really feel like they in they integrate some sort of new emotional upgrade and it 
um, evolves their manifestation process and they are able to integrate and, and gain more abundance after that process because they have evolved their emotions and they've integrated emotions into that process. Um, so yeah, that is kind of what is going on here at the moment. Uh, you're going to be integrating major emotions into your life. This is somebody that you're reconnecting with. I feel like they already, they've already been in love with you. And I feel like it's going to be your turn to awaken to that love. For others of you, this is a brand new person that is going to be coming in, who is, I feel, a twin flame, who is going to be activating you big time. Let's see advice for you. What's the advice? The advice for you... Well, you've got here the Queen and King of Swords. So your advice is to just do what you're doing. Just keep focusing on uh, your logic. You hear you've integrated both masculine and feminine energy. Yeah, definitely try to embody your feminine energy a little bit more. But it's kind of, you're kind of doing the right thing. And with this Nine of Pentacles, I feel like you're just on the right track. I don't feel like there's anything that you need to be doing here. I just feel like you're just doing, you're naturally doing what you're supposed to be doing. You're on your, you're, you're, in, you're on the journey, you're being carried and there's, yeah, I'm not really getting, I feel like you're just doing what you're supposed to be doing anyway. So I don't feel like there's necessarily any advice for you. I feel like this is just more so reassurance. I feel like this is saying to take care of yourself focus upon yourself and taking care of yourself but that's kind of i'm not seeing like oh you need to be doing this you're off track i feel like you're perfectly aligned with what you're supposed to be doing that you're having the experience you're supposed to be having and you're not of course with it at all Let's see what the romance angels have to say to you guys this week. What messages do we have for Capricorn this week? Getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. And then we have retreat at the bottom of the deck. It's time to disconnect from the world. Yeah, this is, this is like good. I'm really, I, I, this is like, this feels great for me. What feels more exciting for me, though, even more so, right? I've, I've, this is probably that King of Swords energy that I'm like vibing off of here. Isn't even necessarily the love part. It's about the way you're going to be able to be manifesting abundance in your life because it's tied hand in hand. You know, it's tied hand, money and love is tied hand in hand, but not even necessarily money, just, you know, like having, uh, you're going to be having a really abundant life after this. Uh, process, you know, it is a process, but you, you're going to be integrating so much abundance, your life will change, and that's what I feel really excited for, even more so than the love connection, is how your own personal life is going to change here, because the way you manifest is going to change, okay guys, who is guiding you this week, Capricorn, who is guiding Capricorn this week, in regards to their love life? Oh, yeah. You're having a twin flame coming in. Look at this. The Miriam, sacred vision. Choose to forgive in order to heal. See the light in all. Remember that love has no boundaries. It may be that you guys are reuniting with a twin flame. Um, others of you, you're going to be meeting one for the first time. Um, but this is incredible. Absolutely incredible. And last card... And this again, it looks, I don't know if it's a peace lily, but what I'm getting is peace lily. So, and that goes with the olive branch as well. So for those of you who are reconnecting with a twin, um, maybe you chose somebody else over a twin in the past. For this new beginning that's coming in, I feel like they're going to come and bring you an olive branch or peace. There's, a, there's symbols here of peace. But others, this is someone new, but they're gonna they're coming to give you a gift of peace. I mean it may not look like it may not look peaceful when they come. 
just because it's a gift of peace it doesn't necessarily mean it's going to be like all peaceful it could be that you know you have to crash down a load of crap to get the peace so you know take that for what it is but there is pe the purpose of this is peace it's to give you more peace it's to bring beauty into your life okay wisdom of the oracle what do we have for capricorn this week please time to go time to go and i feel like that is talking about you leaving a specific way of being with that with that you know that isolated just plain logical uh way of being it's about you leaving that and integrating something new and evolving but this also might be talking about needing to leave somebody you're physically connected with for somebody new or something new but you're going on a journey here you're literally going on a journey you're about to embark you're about to meet someone and you're about to embark on a brand new journey that is going to take you away from where you're presently at and you're going to evolve and you're going to be you're going to be through this journey you're going to be gaining a lot more abundance in your life in regards to love and romance but also in regards to you know all sorts of different things all different aspects all aspects of joy in your life your emotions you're going to be feeling major abundance for all different things in your life um so yeah that is kind of that is what I've got for you guys. Let me know if that resonates. If you're part of this group of Capricorns, that this resonates, let me know in the comments. And uh, if you like this reading, give me a thumbs up. If you want to see more, subscribe, hit the notification bell. And all the best, guys. Get ready for what is incoming for you.